So we're all saddened at Newcastle Fans TV by the death of our former captain, youth development and manager, Glenn Roder, who has sadly died at the age of 65. I personally didn't know much about Glenn as a player in the 80s because I was born in the mid-80s, but Glenn Roder made 217 senior appearances during six seasons at the club, scoring 10 goals. He actually had a shuffle, the Roder shuffle, named after him for his step over. He was a very cultured defender. Of course, he was captain during his six seasons at Newcastle and then, of course, came back to the club in 2005 as youth development manager and then, of course, he got the caretaker role and then the permanent role. After nearly two years out of the game, Glenn Rudder returned to football in June 2005 when he was named Youth Development Manager at Newcastle. After Graham Swinnes was sacked as Newcastle manager in February 2006, Ruda was appointed caretaker manager with striker Alan Shearer, then also still a player, as his assistant. He was incredibly able to turn the Magpie season around, rescuing them from the near foot of the table to finish 7th in the Premier League with a place in the Intertoto Cup. Freddie Shepard, Newcastle chairman at the time, named Ruda as first line to become the full-time manager at the club on condition that Newcastle obtained dispensation from the FA Premier League to allow Ruda to continue without the mandatory UEFA Pro licence. Newcastle claimed exceptional circumstances as Ruda was halfway to gaining the licence when he suffered his brain tumour. The Premier League at first rejected Newcastle's request on the 3rd of May 2006 in accordance with the UEFA rules, which would not allow Rhoda the position. Freddie Shepard, however, lobbied the backing of all the 19 other Premier League chairmen and they voted in favour of Rhoda being allowed to gain the correct licence while in the job. Rhoda was named as Newcastle's permanent manager on the 16th of May, signing a two-year contract with the club. When it was announced that Glenn Rhoda had the job full time, Rhoda went on to say, I am very proud and elated. I am happy with a two year deal because it keeps us all on our toes. When I came up here as a player, I suppose that having that ambition of managing the team would have not been an option. As I've went on, and if you've asked me a couple of years down the line, I would have said I'd like to be manager here one day. Now it has happened. It shows that dreams do come true. If you work hard and fight for the dream, it proves that anything in life is possible. And when the opportunity comes along, you have to be ready for it. I'm looking forward to the next few seasons now. And I think it's going to be an exciting time for everybody connected at this football club. Under Roda, in that summer, Newcastle won the 2006 Intertoto Cup by virtue of being the furthest placed team to advance from the Intertoto Cup into the UEFA Cup. After the 1-0 defeat, to Sheffield United at home on the 4th of November 2006 there was actually a fan protest outside of St James's Park that was actually shown live on Sky however much of the fans criticism was actually directed at the chairman at the time which was Freddie Shepard and not specifically the manager himself during the season Newcastle's league form was up and down it was inconsistent due to a large part of first team players being injured and having to rely on youngsters from the academy to try and compete in the Premier League. With Newcastle maintaining a mid-table position, after guiding Newcastle to just one win in 10 games, Ruda was summoned to an emergency board meeting on the 6th of May 2007. It was revealed that he had resigned from that with immediate effect. Credit to Glenn Ruda because he won 45% of his matches. And if you do that through a 38 game Premier League season, that will be enough to qualify for European competition. Allardyce was named as his replacement on the 15th of May 2007. Despite Glenn Rudder only having a short time as Newcastle manager, he's got a lot of memories that I take away. Think about when he took over from Sooners and was shot up the league and finished 7th to qualify for Europe and winning the Intertoto Cup and having UEFA Cup football. You think about the record-breaking Alan Shearer goal against Portsmouth. You also have to think about that fantastic away win in the UEFA Cup against Palermo when Tim Krull was thrown in the deep end and got man of the match. But the standout memory is that 4-1 hammering of Sunderland when Alan Shearer scored his last ever Newcastle United goal at the Stadium of Light. Alan Shearer says as he gets older the feeling of scoring gets sweeter and sweeter and that will taste very nice indeed. 
in his last weird time derby. Alan Shearer has put Newcastle United in. Everybody at Newcastle Fans TV, including our subscribers, members, and viewers, send their condolences to Glenn's wife, Faith, his daughter, Holly, his two sons, Will and Joe, and all of his family and friends at this extremely sad time. Rest in peace, Glenn Roder.